So little Boosie just spoke up about he ain't on no speaking terms with his mom right now over TQ, his older brother, lawsuit and situations like that. I don't know if the lawsuit ended, but I only want to talk to Boosie as a man and with respect. Shout out to you, Boosie. Um, I'm just going to stick to your mom part. Let me show you something. Everybody could laugh if they want to. Hey, Boosie, this is a painting I drew. I'm in design and media. I'm trying to get my degree for that. And the reason I drew this painting, bro, this is an expression um, type of painting I did. And I'll explain it later, but there's a reason why I'm showing it. And it goes, you know what I'm saying, to you and your family. An abstract expression is like you voicing your, your pain and your anger through painting or whatever, bro. I feel like this, Boosie. We all got our own family issues too, so I ain't gonna judge you at all. It's a lot of dudes who's like, you should never go against mama, you should never, that's a cap, bro. I love my mom to death and I'll fight about my mama, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I be going through days where I don't speak to her too, cause I be feeling like I love you to death, but sometimes you be doing too much. Like sometimes moms can cause the situation to be worse cause they enter it thinking they could fix it and we ain't little kids no more. When it's a dispute between brothers, the only thing a mama should say is y'all try to repair it and fix and all that blase blase. But when you enter that and you picking a side, the other brother gonna feel some type of way. The other brother gonna be feeling like you just made things hella worse and you being more convenient for one side than the other, I definitely feel boosy on that. And I and I love my family to death, but I, I definitely agree with Honeycomb Brazy when he said family first, not knowing he said um, something about family, then he said, nah, loyalty first, meaning that just because we blood don't mean it got to always be like this. You got to show some type of loyalty to make somebody have an unconditional love for you, bro. This ain't LeBron James. I love my mama. I think my mama. Uh, it's like everything you giving this to that, bro, it, it, it's getting a little too trill, bro. So when I sit back, I'm like, Boosie, I definitely feel you and I definitely understand you, my brody, but... You got to also understand. You see, I just broke it down how I feel you on that part. But you release too much of your family situation, Boosie Boo. And I'm with you, bro. I just feel like, bro, just get out the internet for a little bit, bro. And then I can't tell you to. You have a right to be on the internet like any other artist if you want to, my God. But I'm just letting, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm going to keep it 100 with you because you ask your fans to be solid with you. And I'm a fan. I'm not afraid to say it, Boosie. You told us to be solid with you. I ain't clout chasing off you or nothing, bro. It's another move you doing. I'm like, damn, these folks got am ammunition to never really buy your music, your CDs or nothing no more. Or, or maybe you don't care. You know, some of your fans are fake. They don't buy it anyways, but don't crash out on the internet, my God. Everything ain't worth a response. People don't need to know you beefing with your daughter. People don't need to know you going in and out with your brother, bro. Now your mom's situation. See, I done told y'all just now about my mom's situation. But I'm on speaking terms when I want to speak with her. I love her to death. I ain't got no beef with my mom. But the way you got it going with you and your mama, they're going to interpret it different. You feel me, Boosie? I started with my story first so you can understand it. This ain't no slick job type talking, none of that. I'm coming from my heart to just be like, I can tell you ain't happy, dog, and I feel you. As we get older, some of us refuse to grow up, and some of us miss the old times so bad, it hurt, dog. You want to go back to the past, because this future ain't really looking too bright, you feel me? And it don't feel too good. You feel like everybody done used you. You done been the gold for your family. You done been the savior. And now you feel outdated. Like everybody done try to pass you and not thank you. Nobody, you know, want to be grateful. No, Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Motherfuckers ain't grateful. And you feel like these family members of yours are so ungrateful. You don't know what to do because you could do that to them, but it's your blood. You ain't trying to bring the goons out. You feel me? And that's a hard situation, bro. You ever been tried by one of your brothers? And I guess if some of y'all got sisters, I ain't got sisters. You be feeling like an anger to do something, but you love them and you don't want to take it there because there ain't no regular Joe Schmo in the street. So how do you handle drama and beef like that with people you love, people you know all your life, but they playing with you? You feel me? I definitely feel you, Boosie. They playing with you, homie. They got you on your own pivot and you don't want to backspace and double it out the paint. You want to just take it right there and confront it. And your confrontation is IG, social media, and that's the problem. The world takes it, antagonizes 
it to their own life and they make, make this thing become hot more than what it is, I definitely feel you, my brody. And I'm about to do a new video about Psycho Bob Mom. Uh, you know, I'm a Briar County baby. I'm a BG baby, Briar General all the way. So that's bad news, too. I got to report towards that one. But with you, Boosie, I ain't trying to stay too long on this, bro. I definitely feel you, my God. And it's pain, bro. I, I can clearly see pain you going through, bro. So I'm, I'm trying to be more nice on this video than other videos because I ain't no bad dude, bro. I just finished jamming to your song, bro. When I'm going through pain, baby, mama on my back. Feel like I got that monkey on my back for real, bro. I'm going to listen to that pain music going to set me free. You feel me? It's gonna. It's like church. It's my church music. You dig? And you definitely did that for us. I, I just don't feel like the man you becoming on this internet, you're going to make the new generation see you as something else. So now when us older dudes be like, Boosie, my favorite artist, or we jamming a Boosie, dudes going to feel like it's cringe. You feel me? Ain't going to be no more validation. I love telling the young and Hell nah, cut that music off and put some boosie on. You feel me? I love going to a house party and we get that mud turnt, bro. Like, nah, if it ain't got no boosie type music, juvenile, trick, daddy, JT money, you feel me? Plies. I can keep going, bro. That's my type of generation, bro. Or Briscoe. You feel me? Just know that. If, if you ain't got nothing like that, I ain't trying to vibe with it. So I'm just more action as a fan, bro. Boosie, man, we love you. But these folks letting you crash out for views so dudes can get all they clout up. I just feel like, bro, for your fans one time, take a six-month break from IG, bro. Make people miss you, bro. Make people want to support you. Make people sit back to be like, man, I miss the old Boosie. I miss X, Y, and Z. And they, they're going to be calling your name for even more. And maybe you don't care about that, so to each his own. I'm just letting you know, bro, from a humble place, I'm hurt to see you like this, dog. Like, and sometimes niggas afraid to say they just need a hug, bro. So whoever loves Boosie and whoever's close to Boosie like that, get that man a hug, bro. I ain't even being funny. Sometimes as men, we don't express our feelings like that, but niggas just be wanting a hug from mom, dad, the kids, the best friend, something, bro. And it's not no weirdness when you say a hug. The hug is a translation for you want somebody to care about you. You feel me? You want somebody to know they're not in this pain alone. You there with them. That's what you want, bro. But dudes don't know how to say because we solid. We we some, you know, strong men out here and we don't want to put our guards down. And then the other dude's going to be playing with us thinking we soft, we weak. And ain't none of that. But everybody get emotional through their mind, maybe physically or maybe spiritually or maybe through the mindset. And a lot of us dudes from the hood, we get emotional through the mindset. So the way we unleash our pain is lashing out at somebody else, snapping on somebody else, arguing with baby mama, arguing with wifey or the girlfriend, whatever, bro, or the side chick, whatever it may be, because dudes don't know how to express their pain. And Boosie don't know how to express his pain. So IG, he think it's helping him. It ain't, dog. I love you, Boosie. That's why I end my videos with, and I hope you listen carefully. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed.